I'm Eric Fischel. I'm a painter and a sculptor. People so distrust that they can actually read a painting. It seems like you have to know a lot that's outside the painting in order to understand why I'm even looking at this painting. And the great thing about Beckman is no one reading is actually right. There are narratives that are based on deeply personal associations, coupled with mythologies. You don't actually need to know. They just add layers and layers once you do. I feel very close to the general narrative, a boy coming of age. Beckman presents in the central panel a boy dressed like a prince on his hobby horse, which is very animated. In the puberty transition, boys destroy their toys. Puss in Boots hanging helplessly <laughs> there, it immediately set that in motion for me. The painting on the right is a elementary school it's all male, some of them behaving naughty. Showing you the picture he's passing implicates you both as a disciplinarian or you remember when you did this. There's an old man who seems to be the teacher. Behind him is a, a mature male figure, but is only a bust. And he's got this globe that also is like a ball. And it seems like it's gonna land and pop. In the panel on the left, the boy is looking out at what he is going to enter or possess. He kind of jumps over everything between <laughs> youth and death. It's almost like a dreamlike transformation. Beckman's sense of hierarchy comes from emotional necessity. You can see him really weighing how to describe something. Part of rituals in society are that you recognize the momentousness of it and you share it. As you go through puberty and it begins to call up the nature of desire, the objectification, you know, the currency of exchange. There, there's nobody that can compete with the complexity that he works with. He's as much constructing and watching the thing fall apart simultaneously. And yet he stays so closely to the human drama. He's painting about the struggle of being human. 